breaking tonight. We're learning more about a man who died after a confrontation with an FBI agent. His name is Timothy Wilson. He's 36 years old. And the FBI believes he planned to target a local hospital with a car bomb. Well, the FBI, though, caught up with him near Wilbur Parish Circle in Belton to make an arrest. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers is live now to tell us what happened then. Nathan. Well, the FBI says they were waiting for him when he stopped somewhere on this street to pick up part of that device. The FBI tried to arrest him somewhere around that storage unit business back there. Now, a viewer sent us this picture of what they saw last night. It shows officers kneeling down beside Wilson. They say that in the course of the arrest, Wilson was injured and then later died in the hospital. Here's what we know about Wilson so far. The FBI says they'd been following him for months. Their investigation revealed that he was potentially violent, that he was motivated by extreme racial and religious beliefs, and that he disliked the government. They believe he considered several targets in the past, but his plans accelerated. He, he sped them up when the COVID-19 crisis emerged because he believed that targeting a hospital would allow him to harm more people. Here's what a man who works in the offices near here told us he saw last night. There was a policeman blocking off the entrance to the office here. And I was like, what's going on? Kind of crazy, yeah. I mean, I'd like to know more. Nobody had any idea. We knocked on the door of a Raymore address listed for Wilson with some other reporters. A woman answered but told us to leave when we asked about him. Neighbors say he lived there with his grandmother. No, he was very quiet and subdued. I, I was very shocked. Kind of, you know, hung out with his grandmother that, that had the place and, and uh, never did see anything that would indicate that he was some type of domestic terrorist or anything like that. It's important to note here that the FBI says there was never a completed uh, device and that there was no imminent threat. We're following this story very closely, so stay with us as we continue to, to uncover more about this incident and Wilson's past. Reporting live in Belton, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. Thank you, Nathan.